lot of us don't spend enough time in our days like being in the moment. We spend all of our thinking time thinking about things in the future, in the past. What I gotta do and what happened to me or what did I do? That means if you're living in the past and the future, you don't live in the present. You're missing your gift. Because the only way you're gonna be able to enjoy life is if you live in the present. You gotta be able to appreciate the present moment. You know, even if you got a thorn in your shoe, at least you got a shoe. When you start changing your mindset, you can start appreciating things a little bit better because we're in a time of struggle. If you don't have nothing that you can appreciate, you're gonna be miserable and you're not gonna to wanna to be committed to keep going. You're gonna lose your fight, you're gonna lose your resolve. That's why you gotta joke, you gotta laugh, you still gotta entertain yourself, you still gotta enjoy yourself, you know? You still gotta do fun shit. It's good to see so many people out here. Man, there was a time when I would be out here, nobody would be out here. Because this just wasn't a thing that original people did. Y'all familiar with the word original people? I use original to describe black, brown, and yellow people. We are the world's first people, we the indigenous people of the world. Um, I use original because um, we fight over language. The Indians, like, there's Indian communities across North and South America that are trying to figure out their common identity, their Indian identity. They can't agree on what to call themselves. You know, so the issue of identity is tough. We're trying to pick a word. We don't need to pick a word, we just need to pick a reality. We the first people. So this is us getting back to the origins, getting back to nature. When you start walking through this, you start feeling grounded. You can't help but start breathing that air and feeling different. So I'm not gonna be talking forever. I just want y'all to let y'all take it in and be in the moment. Peace, y'all. It is so beautiful to see people out here. Y'all having a good time? Yeah. Let's go this way. Oh, what? That's the spring house I was telling you about. Well, wait, maybe they, some of them was, I don't know, what if some of them was waiting for us? Oh, no, they better stay thrilled. How you doing, bro? How y'all doing? Did y'all get a chance to appreciate the bridge? Yeah, you need a photo of that. Yeah, take a minute. Google water is like, I could look at Google water all day. Y'all know the four elements? Earth, air, fire, and water. Every one of them got properties to it, and you can figure out properties yourself by looking at it. Everybody, like, if you know your sign, you know you're either earth sign, water sign, fire sign. You watching Avatar and shit like that as entertainment, not realizing they're talking about you. I mean, this is all within us. Like, every element of the earth is in us, from us. We connected to it. Take your shoes off, you can get grounded, and you can feel your connection to it. Breathe that air in deeply enough, and you train. You know, we don't know how to breathe. You know, we all breathe wrong. When you inhale, do you, is your belly supposed to go out or in? Think about it. Breathe in right now and just see. Just breathe this and see what your stomach do. Your stomach's supposed to go out because when you inhale correctly, right, you breathe in and it fills in your diaphragm and your diaphragm expands to where it pushes your other organs out with it, even pushes your stomach out with it. It's like filling up a leather sack with, with water. So you're filling it up and so then when you exhale, your stomach actually goes in, right? That's correct breathing. Most of us, we do what? The opposite. That's actually backwards breathing. So if you think about it and your breath is the foundation of your life, you're living backwards. We breathe backwards, we eat backwards, a lot of things that we do is backwards. Like even our sex lives, we have sex for fun rather than for family. And we know that that's not what it was for. And I'm not saying that you can't have fun having sex. I mean, shit, it was fun for a reason, but that ain't what it's for. It ain't for you just just do and then, you know what I mean? And then walk away from the results each time. That's like, that's our failure not knowing how life is supposed to work. Like we're in a time of crisis and we know we feel pain so we know we need entertainment and we need lightheartedness and we need something to make us feel good but we take poison for that we get it from them we go to them for like let make us feel better no that's gonna be poison they give you to make you feel better they're gonna dope you up they're gonna tranquilize you. they're gonna sedate you so when you a zombie right now they got us backpedaling we just seen all of our people getting killed in the street i'm talking about black people native people latino people getting killed not just by the police but just by white supremacy and then what happened? Oh, a cop is shot. Now all of our sympathy pour out. Now, now our own people got a backpedal. Now if your cousin or your auntie is a scary ass motherfucker, they gonna be like, well, you know, cops' lives matter too. And that wasn't right what they did. To no, that's bullshit. That's the media. That's what they do. They was hiring crisis actors for that. Y'all know this, right? 
they was hiring crisis actors for this. They was bringing people in to act like they was hurt. They did this in the Boston bombers. They've done this for a minute now. And we still fall for it. We think that they can blow up a man with a robot and only leave an ID behind. Like, the American public accepts this because we've been taught and trained to think wrong. We don't think a critical thinking is our first response because we think, if we think critically, we might be a hater. We might be negative. It's not negative. That's thinking with yourself in mind. That's self-preservation. Like, let me make sure. Y'all have a history of lying. Like, if you're dealing with somebody that got a history of lying, you might be lying right now. We do this with our friends and family, but we don't do this with these wonderful people in power. And so part of changing this power relationship is taking them out of the power in your head. Taking them out of this position where they're the source of authority, they're the source of what's right, they're the source of what the news is. We don't need to get the news from them because if we get the news from them, we're going to get lies from them. We get the news from each other. And the news really should be what's happening in your community, what's affecting your people. So if your friends and family are not knowing about it and dealing with it, some of these concerns is too distant. What's going on in Flint right now? You see what I'm saying? Who involved in Flint right now? The people of Flint is involved in Flint right now, and the people near Flint is involved with Flint right now, but we're dealing with Atlanta right now. You're dealing with your home right now. You're dealing with not even Atlanta, your specific neighborhood in Atlanta. You're not even dealing with your neighborhood. You might be dealing with your house. But what's wrong with that? That's what you're dealing with. Problems get solved everywhere. You might not be able to solve the problems in Flint. What do we do in Flint? We made Nestle rich, Aquafina rich, Dasani rich. We bought so much bottled water, the bottled water companies got rich. They never donated one bottle. What did I tell you? We made them rich, they never donated one bottle. And the people still sick, the people still poisoned. But we got so excited because we wanted to save Flint, because we didn't understand the problem. We thought that Flint was a problem rather than realizing that Flint was a symptom of the bigger problem. Because they're not just poisoning Flint, they poisoned Trenton, they poisoned Newark. Hell, Go to, if you got a child in public school, go down to your child's public school, take a little water testing kit, you can buy them off of Amazon, and test the water in the, in, the, in the faucet, in the fountain. See what kind of water that your babies is drinking. Oh, we got off, don't, don't, don't be the first fall for the day now. How's it going, brother? How's it going, sister? Yeah, test the water in your child's school. See how much lead they drinking, because lead causes brain damage. It leads to higher levels of violence, too, and aggression. Lead, mercury, and all these things that toxify our children's brains that's putting our baby's brains from when they're in the womb because it's in your placenta blood. These things are in your placenta blood. If you live in the hood, they're already in you and you're giving them to your babies and your babies are born brain damage. So you got to reverse whatever brain damage you was born with. Hell, if young Dolph can say he was a crack baby and now he a motherfucking star, it ain't nothing we can't turn around. We know that we can turn around anything, but you have to make the mental change first. You have to say... I'm not living like that no more. I don't want to think like that no more. There's got to be a whole new commitment, a whole new code. That's why I tell people what righteousness is, because righteousness is a way of life. It's very simple. You don't need a religion to be righteous. You just need to ask yourself, like, am I supposed to be lying? Hell no. Nah. Simple. Should I take that? No. Should I tell them that when I know it's just going to break their heart and they don't even need to know? No. Should I say this because my feelings is hurt and it's just going to hurt them for me to share it? No. You can, it's when it don't feel right, you already know it. Cause see the thing about original people is, we got the game plan in our hearts. It's just buried under bullshit. You just gotta dig it out. The reason we don't know what to do is because we got so much bullshit heaped on top of our original self. You get back to your natural self, you'll be fine. You're still trying to figure out how to operate in this world according to their rules and do like what they want you to do. That's why you're confused. Cause it don't fit with your natural inclinations. Your passion is to be something else other than what they prescribe for you. So honor that. And that's why I said, we're going to ground. We're going to go back to the base. If I could have took, a matter of fact, there is a cave of sorts. There's a little cave down this way. If you can climb up that far, come with me. Because it's an experience. These experiences that you, like by yourself, like even if you're with somebody else today, like have that moment by yourself. Review your own thoughts. Review your own struggle. Review your predicament. Not the predicament of the collective. The collective is affected because... It is a problem that's meant to affect every one of us, including you. But what you need to solve is the problems that affect you. So you have to understand you. And so take some time today to think about, where do I fit in all this? And don't feel so worried like you don't know where you fit. You already fit. You're already a part of the puzzle. You're already a part of the family. You're already part of a community. And you're already part of a group of victims. You've already been traumatized and victimized in many ways. So it's not about, where do I go? It's about, do I understand how I fit into this bigger picture? Do I understand my purpose? Do I understand my worth? Do I understand who and what I'm meant to be? Y'all feel me?
Because that's what the goal of this level of change requires right now. Like we have to become a whole new people inside. Not as a collective or where we tell everybody else what we should be doing and we point to strangers and we tell them how they should behave. But it's about how do we behave. When we set the strongest example, and I'm talking about not just an example of good character, but an example of strength. When we look strong being good, not weak being good, but strong being good, people aspire to that. Because everybody want to be strong. So the bad people look strong right now. So people aspire to be like the bad guys. We just got to make the good guys look strong again. That's all.